All right, guys, so this time in this video, we're just going to talk about one arm lat rows. So it's a great exercise for the, the lat here at the, the side of the back and just the back of the shoulder and that. But uh, it's one exercise I haven't really done in class in a long time. You really can only do it in personal training sometimes because sometimes in class when you do it, it can be just an absolute horror show. People are doing it all over the shop and they're doing it wrong. So we only can do it now and again for people. But uh, hopefully with these videos now, if people get watching these and kind of just concentrate on their technique a lot better, maybe we can add it in more. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of start. I'll just kind of show to start off with a few of the wrong things people be doing. So I'll just grab a little dumbbell here. I'm just kind of short. So basically, a lot of times people have a two close uh, space between their hand and their knee, and they're like this, and then they're rounded, and you see a lot of this kind of stuff. Okay, and even when you go in, any of that or uh, gym goers, if you go in the gym, you see similar stuff like that. And um, a lot of fellas maybe try to do one on rows. And it just does be absolutely shocking. So you don't want to do any of that, correct? You need to just get yourself set up right first. So you want your knee below your below your hip, and then you're talking about the hand below the shoulder. So that's kind of your basic starting point, and then bring it forward. So then you have it well in front of the shoulder at the end of. But then bring this hand across, or sorry, this foot across. Give yourself a good balance, and you just kind of this position. And then a good weak point as well is to bring the hips forward, which means that when you start doing your rows, you're stretching out your lap. And you also, you don't want the head down, you want to kind of neutral or even up a wee bit. And then this is kind of tricky for me to do it on my own here, but you can just grab, basically you want your three points of contact, if you can see that right. You basically have your upper back, the back of the head, and your tailbone there at the bottom. So you have your three points of contact. So obviously, if you're doing this rounded, you, you don't have your three points of contact. So you just want to be right up, nice and solid. Okay, and then you just, you want the shoulders pretty much in line. Okay, and just hold it there nice and tight. You can bring it down a wee bit to stretch out, to stretch out the muscle here, and then pull it right back nice and tight. Okay, so just do a few reps in this. Just keep the head up, just down, right back. And you just want to keep it moving like that, and just keep it nice and tight. Another one you see is this going right back and down, like you're starting a lawnmower, but you just don't want to do that. You even want to hold it at the top a couple of seconds, so you're really activating the muscle. And keeping it nice and tight. Okay, so when you hold it at the top, you're really kind of crunching the muscle there the, the side and keeping that nice and tight. So yeah, again, if you just want to uh, practice that, just so you know, what, you know what you're doing in class then. And again, once you get the technique and get everything right, you can start lifting a bit heavier and you'll progress. Your progress and your results in that, you know, will all keep going and keep going good, alright? So uh, hope that's okay. Any questions, give me a shout. And uh, thanks for watching. Chat the video.